Okay, what I am going to attempt to show you right now is how we do shifts on a Motoman NX100 robot by using position registers. And you can see here, I know, uh, you can see here a sample program that I've created already. And I'm going to show you what it's supposed to do, and then I'm going to walk through how we got there. So when you take a look, you can see what the robot is. This is a very simple program, up and down, and it's just going to move over and offset a little bit and keep moving and offsetting. And if you take a look at the, the program command, it's just jumping and looping to the same motion commands except where you apply the shift. So what, how we got here is by using a combination of commands. But first things first, I want to remind you that in your variable commands, there is a position variable that says robot. And these are, and we, we've done it in the past where we've recorded position variables for a position that we want to remember, okay? But we can also use this to do offsets and math commands as well. So if I show you, and I'm going to um, go back one, this is what a normal position register looks like. It's a, it's a, it's a space in some way. It, it's, a, it's a command. And, and if you look right there, it's saying it's to the base. I can also record them based upon pulses as well. Now, you know, these are, again, for, for different applications, but this is the pulses in the, in the encoders. This is where you would do something joint. So say, you know, but I, for me to record a position, I need to go to this area right here and change it. And I can do these and I can clear the data and I can change this to base, to the robot, you know, a user frame or a tool frame as well. So all this, this is all position variables that you can utilize in some way, in some format. And here you notice the SLR to BT format. If I could, but if I go on more, you'll see X, Y, Z, R, X, R, Y, and R, Z. Because again, one is more, and this is to a user frame. And I'm gonna go page over a little bit more. You can see to the base. You can see that as well, oriented to the base. I've also named this one Y offset. I've also named this Y variable. Because this is the one that I'm doing all my offsets off of. But I'm adding a value to that every time so every time it runs through, it's changing that offset with one set of commands. I have a command in there to clear it every time as well. So let's go back to my job. And if you notice, let me go up to the top. I have my normal NLP. And that first set, of, this command right here, this SET position 5, parenthesis 2, 0. This is how I can set one element of that position register. If I go into my inform list, and under uh, arithmetic, you'll see set element, get element value, okay? And if I hit set element, I can then set a position register, any position register I want, you know, and I can go in here and I can find other, you know, this is all about position values. I can't change anything else. See, it's only position values. And I can set an element to a constant or reference a bool. But if you notice, I can go anywhere from one to six. If I put eight in there, it may give me an error, but one to six, in this case, since it's a base coordinate or rectangular coordinate, it's gonna give me, if one will be my X, two will be my Y, three will be my Z, four would be my X roll, uh, five would be my Y roll, and Z would be my six, uh, and six would be my Z roll. And I can set any value in here. One thing to notice though, is if you do this, it's just gonna do raw values. So if I wanna go 50 millimeters, I need to go five zero 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 zero. And I can demonstrate this in a second. So if I put a five in this here, and go to job, and just to show you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, go, into, I'm gonna go into a job and cycle and just do a step because I wanna just run one line at a time. So now, I'm going to just go here and change this to 5 and hit enter. So let me run this command.
So I just ran that command. I'm gonna go into uh, variables position and look what's there. What was a five? Since this is a like three, it always have three decimals. You gotta assume that. It's so very much like um, timers in Alan Bradley Studio 5000. Okay. Uh, so if I wanted to make that five at first, I would need to do five zero 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 enter enter and now that's changed but normally I'll just use this to be a zero to clear it out but I just wanted to demonstrate I'm gonna hit interlock test start to run that command go to variable and now you can see it's a five okay this can all what values these are that can all be changed in your your, your variable your, your pr program variables which we're not going to touch with a 10-foot pole so let me go into position my, my job and now this here Notice I have a clear bool because I'm using a bool for counting. And here's my label. I now put on a shift on. That can be found in the inform list under shift. There's a shift on and shift off and I can even do a, 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 um, a, sh a whole like um, user frame shift if I want to. Um, that's a little more advanced. Let me just go with these two basic shifts here. Shift on, shift off. So kind of like uh, flame on, flame off in the Fantastic Four movies. Shift up, and I always will need to make sure that there is a position register attached to that. Because if I do shift on, try to change that, it's always going to say P equals. And if I have a zero in there, the job's going to run as normal. And I also usually need a shift, a shift off. So everything between here. All the position values between here will be shifted by what's in P05. And if we write uh, the first time through, it's only gonna be five. It's gonna be offset by five, or zero the first time through. So I'm gonna go back to zero just to show you. And there we go. I've also cleared out my bool. And so now that's that set off. I go to the end of my program. And now I'm doing add whatever's in position variable four into five. And that's the equal sign. So since this is zero, if I add this to that in position four, that's where my offset is. So let me go back to my variables and let me go backwards. And look, it's got 150. So now watch, I'm gonna go back to my job and watch what happens. I'm gonna run this command. And now if I go back to my robot position, there's position four, page over, hey look, now it's 155, because I just added that whole thing to it. If I wanted to really mix it up, I can go here, I'm gonna go to position four, where is, oh, sorry, uh, shift page, go into position four, and let's just, I'm gonna just make something that's really easy to see, and I will do kind of a 20 degree roll, maybe 15, let's just go, or 10 degree roll, let's just not go too crazy. So every time. So if I go back to my job and run that again, if I run that again, come on. No. You'll see now that it's a 10 in there. Well, that's my point. Now you see it's a 10. Pretty cool, huh? So let's go back to my job. Let's just run this to show, and, and of course there's a jump label with a bool that's counting, and then there's a motion type at the end. So let's watch what happens now since I added that uh, extra little twist in there. But let me go back to job, cycle, and let's go to cycle, okay. So let's watch, let's watch it. And if you notice, there's a little bit of a, a twist in the Z. Let me go through this again, because I didn't... See that, how it's, you can obviously see. So I can shift by degree, I can shift by other things as well. And you can see it's rotating every single time. And if I'm not careful, 
it's going to keep rotating out of control. So the downside of, of setting things up is always make sure you have a reset. So if I want to reset, I can either do a different value or if I want to keep doing a different reset value, let me go and do robot, uh, inform list, uh, arithmetic, I'm going to do set thing, I'm going to do six, and I'm to make that zero, insert, and there we go. And you'll see that now when I run this, it's going to kind of go back to normal. It's just going to rotate a little bit. It's, and it's always going to look the same. But that's how you do a shift on command using position registers and, um, and set elements commands.